Hey guys, Bob here, that's Scottish Drummer, and this is just a quick video today on how to set up Zoom so that we get the best quality we can for our drum lessons. This applies to any lessons online too, it's just really good settings to have set up on Zoom. So let's jump into this now, I'm going to share my computer screen with you here, I'm going to throw myself in the bottom corner and hopefully it all works out. Okay, so I'm going to link to this website in the description below, and what you want to do is download Zoom Client for me. I've already downloaded this. So once you download it, you open up Zoom, and it's gonna look like this. I'll close my um, Safari. So there we go. First thing to do is jump over into settings. And these are your general settings. You can have a read through here, change any of this if you like, but the main ones for us. First of all, we're gonna jump into audio. Now speaker, this is where you can select from the drop down menu here. If you have headphones in, this is where you can choose your headphones, like I recommended in the previous video. And microphone, if you have a USB mic, you can choose it from here. Uh, you can see the levels on my mic, just on the built-in one on the MacBook. So one thing you want to do is disable automatically adjust microphone volume. Because you want to manually control this yourself, right? So we want to hear dynamics with the drums. If you're playing quietly, it'll come across quietly it's not going to adjust that. Okay, so turn that one off and then go down to advanced. What we want to do is make sure all of these are enabled. These are actually really recent ones within the past two weeks. You can have a read if you hover over the question mark, but it just really improves the audio quality. High fidelity music mode. It's really cool stuff. So um, yeah, it's a big update from Zoom recently which uh, is great for musicians like us doing online lessons. So that's the audio side of things. Under the video tab. Here you can choose, you can see my, um, I've got my FaceTime camera on just now. Again, from the drop down menu, you can choose whichever one you would like. The main thing here is to enable HD. That's really important because <laughs> that means you're gonna get a nice crisp picture. Mirror my video, I turn that off. Touch up my appearance, that's, you know, you can do that if you like, but adjust for low light is actually quite good. Let's go back. So you'll see the difference here. If I click on that, you see it brightens up the image. So, you know, lighting is important, but if you cannot get good lights, then this is a pretty good way to get around that. So that's all the main settings within here that we're gonna set up. Uh, you can have a read at everything that's in here. So how it's going to work, let me jump back to this camera. How it's going to work is I'll send you an email and then within that email there'll be a link and that will just open up Zoom and if you set up these settings one time, they should open up with these settings every time. If you don't already know, I'm running a promotional offer on my lessons all through September. So you can check that out in the description down below, that's running on my Facebook page. So have a look there, get in touch and I'll see you in the next one.